Welcome back, everyone. We have returned to the captain. Last time we just saved the Epsilon space station and opened a wormhole. Let's explore it. Yes. This, this is the wormhole that was supposed to send the shipment to Earth. So maybe this will send us to Earth. Location unknown in outer space. Oh good, I was afraid we were going to be under the ocean. Day 93. Oh. Code red. Code red. The fire. A fire just broke out in panel 5C in the airlock. What? The wormhole decompressed the magnetic seal generator. And that led to the fire? Yes, I'm not designed to jump space, Captain. You'll need to put out the fire. Can't you put it out? Yes, I could. But my command routine has short circuited. I only have access to the water spring fluids right now. There's a big chance that the water will damage some essential ship systems if I use them. I would recommend that you manually take care of it some other way. Uh, where was the fire? The airlock, bottom floor. Okay, I'll take care of it myself. Good choice, sir. Remember, they can always contact me if you change your mind. Oh boy. What? But I thought that one bot fixed that. I... But this frequently annoying sound sure motivates one to put it out. Okay, fine. Um, then... Catch... Catch the bridge... And then we'll hop down here, go into the airlock, because I have an idea. Okay, ship, I'm here. Okay, now put out the fire. Any suggestions? Not really. Since we're still down, so we can't really see what's going on in there. I'll figure this one out yourself. Just don't get too close to the plasma fire. Alright, yeah, we're going to put on the suit. There needs to be something wrong with the spacesuit. I cannot get the security release hatches to work. The suit is totally stuck to the wall. Well, that's okay. We, that's perfect. Close. And pressurize. All right, well that worked exactly as I had hoped it would. Good job, Captain. I can see the fire is out. How did it go? Is something damage to the fire? Check in. Looks like all the major systems are fully functional. There's only minor damage to the panels inside the airlock, but that's something we should be able to fix in no time. Great, thanks. The fire. Firefighter. Firefighter of the year? Ooh, we are special. Meanwhile, Space Station Epsilon. Oh, the space station we just left. Is this Dr. Evelyn? Or, uh, General Evelyn? Is it all set? Yes, sir. We are ready to proceed. Before we do, we need to remind ourselves we came back here. Why we came back here? Yes, yeah, so locate and secure one of those power cells. Fuel cell, Rob. We are absolutely positive there are no fuel cells on the station. Sir, you did the compound scan yourself. You don't have to remind me, Rob, how essential one of those fuel cells is to me and my future plans. No, you do not, General. If the station is clean, you can go ahead with the operation. Yes, sir. Why are we blowing up the station again? I can't let this technology continue to develop here and become ordinary. Besides, there was an exp expiration date on those detonators. I, <laughs> I see. Not let anything go to waste. Think about the environment. Yes. Can't let those detonators go to waste. Sweet. Now where are we? Raid Atoll. Bring on some. Okay, so we were here, and then we jumped past all this enemy territory. Hey, that's actually probably good for us. Trade and pay. 
allocation. All right. Uh, so we're in the Limean, we're in Limean space. Grand Central Junkyard. Pirate territory. Lime. Lime and pie. I think he said there's, these are meant to meant to trap, make, go to these places multiple times. Nugget node, Fenton Perth. We'll go. Do we want to go Fenton Perth or do we want to hop these three? Let's hop these three. Bigger than the Earth's moon, decades of overmining have reduced its mass by at least one fifth. 21 days. Well, hold on. It's Fenton Perth. The ship scanner is unable to reveal any data of the planet's surface. Very popular vacation spot. The clean water and fresh air together with the breathtaking sunsets of made tourism. Mythical home of the legendary Green Fingers. Planet with almost no inhabitants. You know what, though? That seems like the the route that they would. They're urging you to take. So I'm going to take the road less traveled. Because that's one thing, too, is that the game also saves your decisions and choices from items. So that way, if you do another run, you can. You'll know what you did before, and you can do something different. Yes. My planet scanners detected something. Blah, blah, blah. Detected something very strange. We are receiving a space fleet homing signal from the planet's surface. A space fleet signal? Are you sure? Yes, I am. But it's from the booster module that was part of the fuel cell transport mission. Booster module? How the hell did it appear? Too many unknown variables to extrapolate a relevant analysis. What? I don't know what it is doing here. But this could very well be the reason for why the transport mission failed, and you ended up in the outer regions. These booster modules contain a great amount of dr dromian, if I am not mistaken. Correct, sir. It could be useful to us. I am reading several information satellites orbiting the planet. We should establish a link to them before taking any further action. Hold on. Establish a link to one satellite now. This planet is inhabited by a pre-space civilization and is thereby protected under the United Galaxy Act and the Universal Non-Interference Act. All breaches of this act are punishable by the law of universal paragraphs of conduct. For more information, please contact the Lalimian Authority of Trade and Cadastral Survey. You guys have to be careful of them when you go down there. And I... Oh, I can just contact it just to reread this? Okay. So if I go down here, I have to make sure that I... Do not mess with the local inhabitants. The prime directive must be met. Yes, I don't know. I don't watch Star Trek. Uh, I'd say we get past the step of not interfering with. We we're past the step of not interfering with this planet's natural evolution. With the crash module, it would seem so, Captain. I will go down there and salvage the dromium from their crash site before I dismantle it. That would be beneficial for the natural development of the inhabitants of this planet. However, regulations force shuttle to perform a deploying lead maneuver on this mission. Right, we need to minimize the risk of detec detection by the inhabitants of the planet. Shuttle will put me down at the location of the booster and leave till the salvage is complete. Now send nano service module next to the crash site. You to salvage the drone. Perfect. Notify shuttle we are leaving. Will do. And Captain? Yes? I've updated your info pad with the necessary procedure for mission success. Got it. Well, that makes sense. Because, yeah, if we leave the module there, that's something from another planet with advanced technology and a fuel source. Yeah. Oh, the shuttle, the shuttle landings are like my favorite part. It's just, oh, it's groove. That's what space is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a groovy adventure. There we go. Yeah, our landing achieved into the P for perfection. Yeah, it was okay. Please shuttle, really, no need to brag about it. I am not bragging, sir. Just giving you a mission update. Whatever. You should go back to Cop Copernicus while I take care of this. Is our ship really called Copernicus? It was my little baby captain learning to walk on his own. Ooh, gaga. Uh, are you done? Yes. We are obligated by regulations to avoid any contact or draw any attention to us while down here. Hence the reason I'm leaving you alone here to do the job. I see the service module of the ship was sent down. Did it survive the deployment? Yep, seems so. I'm receiving a green light. You're good to go, Captain. Good. I will contact you when I'm done here so you can come down and pick me. No rush. Take your time. The salvage. Please insert tox rod into slot BB3 to proceed. 
Oh. Here. Alright, well, here's the module. Unlocking. Hmm. I guess we're doing all the. Oh. Hmm. Input code panel. Nothing here. Oh, it's so quiet and peaceful. Self destruct code. All right, well, I'm not going to try and brute force that. So something... Uh, no, I don't want to have an explosion, though. That seems like something bad. Really? That's... Maybe the service table. I don't have a toxic rod. That sounds weird. Um, find the booster module crash site. Locate the booster module access panel. Unlock the chromium rod part by setting the correct lock dog combination. Red, black, red, red, black, red. Red, black, red, red. Oh, it's palindrome. Wrong one. Black, red, red, black, red. And we got the drumming rod. And I'm sure we got a... Oh. Open the drumming rod, carefully remove the rod, install the rod in the service table, extract the self-destruct code. And step away. Okay. Oh. Gotta insert the rod outside the menu. Retrieve the code. 65401. Remember that, everyone. 65401. 65401. 65401. And then we run. Ooh, that's glowing bright there. I guess this is mission complete. Only thing left is to get the rod safely back to the ship. Wait a minute, where is the rod? <gasps> Damn, I've been compromised. Hey, I think that guy just stole the Dromian rod. I'll have to get it back. That rod might do some serious damage to the environment. They don't treat it right. All right, well, if it was so if it was locked inside the service table, I'm surprised they let him just take it out so easily. There he is. Yeah. I was wondering, because the first couple planets we went to, the missions were quite short. Um, but it's like every place we go now, it's progressively getting longer, more, uh, more in depth. And the road seems to end over there by the gates. He has to be hiding somewhere around here. Though I suppose with this planet, since you probably wouldn't go back to the other three. They need to balance it out so this planet's going to be a bit longer than the other three planets would be. Individually. Bird nest made out of nest twigs. Did I die? I found him unconscious. I got knocked out outside the city gates. His clothes are very strange. Mother, will he be okay? I think so, dear. He just needs to rest now. Oh. Never fun when you wake up without your pants. <laughs> Someone must have hit me in the head. I don't remember. I guess I blacked out a bit. Where am I and how did I get here? Shuttle? Damn, all my gear is gone. And my clothes. So much for staying in line with Space Fleet's no interfering act. I need to get a hold of my gear and the rod and get out of here as soon as possible. The lab. Old school lab equipment. Someone with a scientific interest lives here. 
Time's trying to wake up. Hours of sleep per night. Eat hot food. Mm -mm, before going to bed. Okay. Strange. I can see a back garden. A small town with stone houses. Some kind of plant. Well. They took my pants. So they're going to have to live with me without pants. Maybe I should find some clothes before I go down. Oh. I'll put on a shirt. That's it. These aren't half bad. I feel really comfortable and loose. Quiet, nice. Well, I'll be incognito now. Uh, Mom. Yes, dear? He is awake. Who is love? Mom, the man. Oh. Oh, sorry, sir. You are up. I am up. That's wonderful. How do you feel? Okay, I guess. I got a pounding headache, but other than that, I feel fine. Please, sir, come down and join us. Thank you. Lasha here found you unconscious outside the city gates this morning. What happened to you? I am not sure. Uh, where am I? You are in our house, in Fenton Path. It was decided that we would take care of you since we found you. Well, thank you for that. Who are you? My name is Samoa, and this young lady over there is my daughter, Larsa. What should we call you, sir? My name is Thomas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, where are you from, Thomas? I mean, no one in town seems to recognize you. Um... I don't remember. You don't remember? I remember my name and age, but nothing else. But I really should let Dr. Cottage take a look at you. Um, I seem to have lost my clothes. I found these up on the bed. That is okay. They were placed there for you. I hope they fit. Yes, thank you. They belong to my husband, but you can borrow them for as long as you want. I really need to get hold of my stuff. Of course. The governor has them at the moment. The governor? Why does the governor have my clothes? Well, I've never seen anything like what you had on you. We are just a small town, and the governor didn't want to start ill-favored rumors. He felt it necessary to store your belongings until he had a chance to speak with you. Oh, I see. I will take you to him, but first things first, you must be hungry. We just had our morning meal, but there's still food left. Well, thank you very much. I am starving. Great, please sit down over there at the table and I'll get you some. Lasha, don't you have chores to attend? But Mom, I want to stay. Lasha, now. Please, Thomas, take a seat at the table. The gold pearl. It is contained real gold. It says here that it sometimes grows together with the common blue skylight. Rules and more books. Uh, the table sofa. Let's not be rude. Here you go. Thank you. Just immediately projectile vomits. Disgusting. I can see why your husband left. No, thank you so much. That was great. Really needed that. I'm glad you liked it. I guess I should go see the governor now. I was told to bring you to the governor myself. I need to finish up in here first. Maybe we can meet outside the, uh, his office a bit later? It shouldn't be too long. You can take a stroll around the town in the meantime. Sure. So where's his office? Just head down the road outside and you'll end up in the town square. From there you will see the Justice House. Okay, thank you for everything, Simone. I really appreciate your help here. You're so welcome. See you later. Alright, I have two ideas. One, Governor is suppressing technological advancement to stay in power or B he's going to burn us like a witch Find a tree a mere climber's tree oh I'm sorry but that is mine and Lash's bedroom I would prefer to keep that room private of course I appreciate it sorry about that huh this is a full-fledged little town here. Small and filled with old lumber. Flowers. Oh, I picked a flower. Sky lip. There's something about the sky lip and then the gold flower. Really poor condition. Uh, hey, Lasha. How's it going? 
Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, all right. Well, she's not much for conversation, so I'll just go into town, I guess. Time to interact with this town. Fruit salesman. Hello. Hello, sir. Some fresh fruit. What kind of fruit are you selling? Well, I have apples, tree fruits, and sun pears. And also, I just received a full crate of fresh spring berries. They're amazing this time of year. Do you want to taste one? Well, yes, please. There you are. Wow, they really are tasty. Yes, I know. So, do you want to buy some? I'm sorry, I don't have any more. Oh, I see. <laughs> you want a free sample? Yes. Would you like to purchase? No. Oh. Uh, what are you doing here? Blacksmith, I see. Just say what you need, and I'll make it for you for free. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. All right, uh, tailor, sir. Fancy some new clothes. We have everything you possibly want here. Just check his pants, shoes. Just tell me what you're looking after, and I'm sure I will have it. All right, so we're gonna probably have to be make ordering stuff. Baker, some delicious cream rolls, or maybe some of our famous berry nut bread. Everything you see here is completely fresh, baked today. You have anything I can get for free? Oh, I'm afraid not. I can't afford to give products away, you know? How much for a cream roll? Only one money each, but I advise you to hurry if you want some. I only have five left and they are very popular around here. I have to go. I have no money. But if you need me, I will be in this shed. Don't ask. Okay, nothing in the shed. Opening? What's in? What's this? Oh, it's a giant library. Shelves. Yeah. Really, there's shelves in a library? Archive. Okay. Now let's progress the story here. Let's get to the Justice House. Which I'm sure... This town is full of honorable justice. Door seems to be locked. And the music stopped. Chamber of Thoughts. Light is the path of truth. So bathe in the light with all your soul. Never let it be taken by the dark. And then only then justice will thrive. Oh. Gosh, this sounds... I just have a feeling things... This is one of those places where it's all nice on the outside, but then you actually... Everything's awful. Oh, yeah, man. What can I do for you? Uh, what are you doing in here? Paperwork. What kind of paperwork? Essential. How much paperwork could there be for a town of this size? Are you kidding, son? Paperwork is the backbone of any well-functioning enterprise. And Fenton Perth is a well-functioning enterprise indeed. I need to go. Well, off you go then. Okay. Man, this, this is a whole full-fledged town here. Enter shop area. She said to me... Okay, I guess we're going to have to... Um, Still have to figure out what's going to trigger story progression. Goods and cargo. Good day, sir. Hello. Please come inside and have a look around. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you that stranger Lesha, Lasha, Lasa found outside the gate? Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Thomas. Hey, Thomas. I'm Frank. I don't want to be rude, but I have to ask you. Where do you come from? I mean, you are certainly not from town, and it's just that we don't get new people coming here on a regular basis. Uh, I really don't remember much at all. I've been having some memory issues since I got hit in the head. Oh, so uh, Ingrid thinks you are a southerner. Why does she think I'm from the south? I'm not sure. She saw you when they carried you through town, you know? Maybe it's because of the strange clothes you were wearing. Who is Ingrid? Oh, that's the very beautiful lady that owns the coffee shop here next door. Oh, I see. Yes, she just happens to be 
Very, very beautiful. Here, water. This is a tap on the side. Shells. Bird. Hello, little friend. Crack. Hmm, that almost seems sad. How can I help you, little birdie? Crack. Birdie. Croak. Hmm, maybe he is missing a friend in here. Oh, please, sir. Well, that lever opens the attic window. Just let me make sure it is locked. Oh. There's a hook pulley up there. Oh. Statue. Small play statue. It has some sort of blue gem placed over the face of the statue. It's, there's a protective case surrounding it. Alright, I think you can see there's a hook. The rope. Ladder here. So we gotta distract him somehow. Which, clearly, he's infatuated with the coffee lady. So we need to get him distracted. So we're gonna flirt with her and ruin his day. What do you sell there? Finest coffee. Fancy cup. Uh, I don't think I can afford it. No worries. This one's on the house. Looks like you use it. Well spotted. And thank you. Here you go, sir. Again, thank you so much. Yeah, that's right. You jealous? Wow, that's some amazing coffee. Thanks. I'm happy you like it. I'll, you let your friends know. I will. Have a nice day. You too. And Duper. Just walking. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I have to serve coffee outside today. There's no need to go inside. No. Okay. Oh, a wild bird. Looks almost like a parrot. He is really going to town on those tree fruits. Ah. All right. So, can I grab him? I hope I did that right, because I want I need to capture him and put him in a cage with the other. Excuse me, sir, I don't think you're allowed to climb up there. Oh, sorry, man. Distract him. Oh, the bell. He hears the bell. Small bell. There's a metal bell hanging on the chain above the door. When the door opens, the bell will make a sound. I guess it's still the store keeper now. Someone's in the store. Please, sir. Come with the bell. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Please don't use that water dispenser right now. <laughs> so, we disabled his alarm system. We're going to flirt with this lady to make him jealous, so he'll come out. Now, shall do this. I think we're good, because now the window's open, it's unlocked, so that means at night or whenever, we can go in there and steal that jewel. Oh. You were inside my shop? I'm so sorry, I didn't see you go inside. No, you didn't see me. I'm a man of mystery. There we go, there's Samoa. Perfect, we did what we needed to do. Hey Thomas, hey Samoa. Did you get a chance to look around the town? Yeah, sure, I was very friendly and curious. Did I see anything? Anything familiar? Nope, not really. I guess I'll take another stroll after this meeting. Right, let's go inside. Her hair looks heavy, like having it straight out the back, before the neck. Mr. Perry first, but what do you mean? Ever since Lassa's father disappeared, the governor has approached me for marriage. Oh. Yeah, and he has a very hostile approach to any man that gets too close to me. I see. He is harmless, really, but he is just a bit protective of me. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, let's do this. Oh. The, she said the governor told her to look after the guy, so he knows. I don't know why he's. He has no reason to be jealous. We have time this is a bit better, Samoa. 
but you told me to. I'm in the middle of something here, okay? The governor is a very busy man, Samoa. Of course, but you both specifically told me that I had to bring Thomas back here when he woke awoke. Thomas? Who is Thomas? I am Thomas. Oh, so it has a name after all. Samoa. Have you had time to digest my proposal yet? Oh, I'm sorry, Willie, but after the recent events... Governor! You should address him. Governor! Oh, sorry, I'm Governor. After everything that has happened, I don't think that... Oh, come on now, Samoa. Why haven't you just accepted my marriage proposal? I murdered your husband just so I could... I mean... You know you won't survive the winter. Your water is bad, and with your crops now all rotten, I don't understand how you can refuse me. Think about your young Lhasa. Think of all I did to endanger her health and well-being just so I can marry you. You can barely manage an entire day as it is. Let me worry about my own daughter. Well, I accidentally clicked that. How did you know? Are you perhaps spying on me? Well, of course. Don't be silly woman. I'm only concerned for you, that's all. If you are that concerned, why don't you help me with my crops and water problem? You know I can't play favorites around here. But if we were married... I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps we should keep the focus of the matter at hand. Oh, right. Yes, I can't blackmail her into marriage so overtly. I guess we should. So, where are you, Thomas? Where are you from? I don't remember. You don't remember? What do you mean? I guess whoever hit me in the head did a good job of my memory. Hmm. Before we continue, perhaps we should let Samoa carry on with her day. What? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Samoa. Just so you know, my proposal is still open to you. I'm sure it is. Thomas, could you possibly help me with one thing? Sure. Can you please drop by the store on your way home? I've ordered some groceries that I need to be brought back home. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. Yeah, you can take my notebook. It's almost completely new and my shop credit number is on the very first page. Okay. Well, see you back home then, Thomas. Thomas, approach, please. Sinister music. So, how do we make sense out of you? Uh, maybe I just need some rest and my memory will come back? We both know that is a lie. And a pretty poor one, in fact. But I instead would like to know, why you stayed with Lady Samoa? Didn't he tell you? They found me and they took care of me until now. I don't like it. As a matter of fact, I don't allow it. What the governor means is that, that they have been having problems with water and, and their crops. Oh yes, and their crops. So perhaps your living there will put extra strain on their resources. You see, Thomas, winter is coming. In their current state, there is no way they can stay in that house during those cold months. My proposal to Lady Samoa is a personal born out is a proposal born out of my responsibility for the citizens in this town. And then just fix her stuff, dude. Besides, I don't find it appropriate for a strange man to live with a woman who's about to be married. Uh, what's wrong with their water and crops? What do you mean? Why would I know? Well, how would marrying her help? In a great estate outside of town where Lady Simone and La Lassa would fit in perfectly. You make them sound like furniture. Fine furniture, mind you. Oh. Uh, do you have my clothes and belongings? I do! And I'll give them to you if you leave town here and now. Sir? Yes, Bertie? Maybe we can offer the man some other incentives to leave? Well, what do you have in mind? Maybe we can give him some of the gold we found the other day. Not all of it, I mean. But let's say six pieces? I think that really would make him think about it. Alright then. I'll also hand over six pieces of gold if you need this place now. Hmm. Six pieces of gold? I guess I can sell that for a couple of hundred credits. Wow. Do we take the gear and get out of here? No, Samoa and Lhasa does not need to... No. No, no, no. I've seen too many movies with this guy. No. I think I'll reach out a helping hand to Mrs. Samoa. It's Miss Samoa. Not Mrs. Just get out of here. I guess things just got a bit more complicated. I think I'll use this notebook to keep track of my problems. Problem one. I could not look at my wife and children in the eyes if they knew I abandoned another woman and child to such travesties. Find the rod. Get my equipment. Burn the governor alive in his mansion estate. I mean... You know what I mean. Get groceries over at the store. 
Oh. So, enter the shop area. This is... What is this area, then, with all these shops? Oh, hold on. I just... Maybe I should talk to him first. Decide if you want to talk. Yep. Yeah, I can't alert him that his bell's... Oh, he fixed the bell. But that doesn't matter, because his window's still open. I was supposed to get something for Mrs. Samoa. Yes, of course, I got it all prepared here under the desk. Thank you. Laughing bird. At least the bird's happy. No, it's not actually. He's very sad. Is that one bird back? <gasps> no! I hope I didn't screw that up. Oh no! I have a feeling there's not too many things that are, um, that you're completely messed up doing. Wow. It's a huge area. Because I think they have to take into account that you're probably going to be a little, uh, fumbling around at first. Hey, Lhasa. Really poor condition. Here are your groceries. Thank you. Well, if you'd like to help me fix the house, it will probably take the rest of the day, though. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's wonderful. Me and Lassa really appreciate it. Up the house. Good work, everyone. Let time to come inside. Dinner is ready. Oh, at last, I'm starving. Oh, I suppose if we had taken his offer, we'd get off planet right away, so we'd save some time. Uh, but we're actually not hurting on time too much. Now, let's say grace. Bless this food and the people who prepared it. We are very pleased to welcome Thomas to our meal today and hope he will get his memory back soon. And let's all offer thanks for the bounty we've received. They will come. There, let's eat. Did Frank at the store mention our debt to him? No. If we could only grow our own food, we wouldn't have to be so dependent on Frank's blessed heart. Is it hard for crop to grow in these parts? Not in general, but our plot has given up for some reason. We had problems for a long time. Yeah, this is the first season. There used to be a great plot to grow food. Uh, it's almost as if it's been sabotaged. We grow earth apples and root berries. Might not be dinner for kings and queens, but it will do for us. What do you think's wrong with the crops? We noticed some strange flavor in the food, and then both Lesh and I fell ill with fever. I don't really know what is wrong. I am no farmer myself, so it would be a guess at best. But I had Sister Patty down for a look. She knows these kind of things. They say that she was spawned from the earth, from an earth apple seed blessed by the Almighty herself. So, pretty comfortable around crops then. Oh yes, dear Thomas. She did what she could and consecrated, consecrated the earth. This was delicious. You sure know how to cook. Thank you. Uh, what's up with that governor? He is an evil old duck. Lhasa, he is not. Lady, he, he is. Like, really... Really is, however, uh, stubborn in disguise. Yes, mother, like an evil old dog. Lhasa! He's being infatuated with you. Yes, he is possessed by the illusion that I need him. Need help to get by. His views on women are old-fashioned, quite tiresome, actually. How did he, he become governor? Simply put, he was born to it. He was the son of the former governor. With the church supporting his position, he was always written in the stars. You don't seem to like him very much. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still married to my husband. No man, no matter how rich or how powerful, can change that. He is mean and grumpy. So, where is the father? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... No, it's alright, I was just thinking about something else. His name was Tamian. Lhasa was only a baby when he went missing. What happened? Well, Tamian was the kind of man that questioned everything. He was never afraid to raise his voice for honesty and truth against injustice or greed. Oh... He spoke out against the government and the church, and they silenced him, no doubt. 
a tale as old as time. I always said the question is the answer. It saddens me so to say it, but I believe he finally asked one question too much. I do believe the Almighty finally had enough of him and his question. Oh, soon after Lhasa was born, he got obsessed with the night, but as you know, the night is sacred time. But in time. Fun time. But he just said that the truth never damages a cause that is just, and that no child should have to live in ignorance. He would spend most of his time over at the library with his research. A while after he went missing, I went through his diary to find some clue of what might have happened. It suggested that he had been outside during the dark hours. I loved him more than life itself, but his unbound and always thirsty spirit was not meant for this land. I am sorry, Small. You think I could see his diary? I am sorry, I won't let anyone see those unholy writings. I've locked them away for the safekeeping. It's just that it's way too dangerous. I wouldn't want to upset the Almighty again. Thank you for the food. I need to steal from you, too. You really earned your food today after all that work you did. Well, I think I will start cleaning things up now. Masa, time for bed. Please don't touch that, Thomas. That's the place I put my husband's notes. Surely they can be very dangerous. So obviously, I gotta find a way to break into there. A little scientific interest lives here. Can I, can I play with them? I don't know what I should do with this lab. Time's trying to wake up. 18. Hours of sleep per night. Increasing. Yes? The captain soon fell asleep, very tired from all the manual labor during the day. Oh no! I... oh... I don't know if I did that right. Good morning. So how do you feel today? Remember anything yet? Uh, not really, just a few glimpses. It's too bad, I feel sorry for you. I wanted to wake you up before, but we usually go up and have breakfast just after sunrise. But I'm reheating some porridge for you right now. Maybe I'll just get another clock for you to have upstairs that we can wake you up. Thank you. Oh, good, I needed that to set myself an alarm for night. Some breakfast. Oh, does she have a bell over her door too? Everyone's got security with a giant open window. So everyone knows you go through the door. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Thomas. Yes. Could you do me another favor today? Could you go to the store again and get me the groceries I've ordered? Of course. Thank you. So I... Maybe the governor is right, you know. Maybe I cannot imagine this without marrying him. I understand why we have all these problems at once. I mean, not only is our water supply undrinkable, our crops grow very slowly as well. Uh, you don't want to marry him? Well, not really. I just never fancied him that much. Also, if I'm quite mean, actually. Maybe I can help? I don't know, though. I have to solve these problems quite soon, otherwise I won't be able to stock enough food and water for the winter. Guess I'll have to give up this life soon. Think about Lhasa, you know? Anyway, it's not your problem to fix, but if you have some idea how to help, I'm willing to listen. I have to get, come back to you on that. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Yeah. It's... Maybe I should just agree to the governor's terms and get my stuff back. But on the other hand, this family could really use my help. Perhaps I could bring a sample of the soil back to my service table and analyze it. Hmm, I guess I'll update my list of problems. Well, clearly... It's one of those things where the... The governor is clearly poisoning the land to force her... To marry him. Because he's not good enough to do it on his own. There, now I got the flower I needed. Really poor condition. Ah, garden plot. Take a bit of soil. Take a small sample. I need to exit the city. I have quite a lovely valley. And in Perth. Hold on. Hole in the ground. By a small rodent. And another. Hey! Oh, it's the wild bird. Oh. Maybe we need to free the bird. Wow. 
Oh, really wanted that fruit. What did you bring with me for? Oh, never mind that. No way for me to get in there. All right. Well, at least I had the right idea. Offer the birds some fruit. That's a very, very big valley. All right, we're just getting resources here because we don't know what we need or how much we need or why we need it. Though to be fair, we're probably just going to disregard it because there's like that ice, there's an ice planet. And we grabbed a bunch of twigs to start a fire. We only used one and then we just kind of let her go from there. Probably small one. Hold on, Lassa. I'm going to... I'm going to do the soil sample first because I don't know if that's going to trigger story progression or not. Oh, right. Uh, soil sample. Analyzing the soil sample. Done. Pollution's detected. What the? This is a type 2 pesticide substance. No wonder the soil is as dead as dust. There's no way this is a natural phenomenon. Someone did a really good job here sterilizing the soil. Good news is that I think I know how to clean up this pollution. I'll just write down the steps in the notebook I got earlier and hope I can get alcohol. A hold of the necessary ingredients on this planet. Knew it. Governor's evil. That means one thing. Burn down everything. Leave nothing left. Make Lhasa and Samoa watch as the city burns. And then we throw them into the fire. See you, Lhasa? Oh, hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just fine. Thank you. Are you crying? No. Well, maybe. I didn't expect you up here. I need to be alone. What are you doing up here? I'm really just thinking. Something happened? Yes. Or no, I don't know. Did you see something strange up here? What? No. Why did you ask? Just checking. Come on, Lhasa. You tell me what is wrong. Oh, all right. It's Willie, the governor. I really don't like him. He treats Mother so badly. Yeah, I've noticed that. I heard him and Mother discuss a date to come visit his estate. I know what that means, and I hate it. I understand. We will figure something out, and I'm working on it. I'm glad we found you, Thomas. So am I, Lhasa. Why are you up here, by the way? Just checking around my surroundings to see if I recognize anything. Do you? For a moment, I thought I recognized this tree, but no. Just another tree, I guess. So nothing, then. Not a thing. So, you really should keep looking around for something familiar. Yeah, good idea. I'll stay here for a while longer before I head home. Okay, see you back home, then. Can I throw a piece of fruit at you? No. Would you like a flower? Okay. No. How about the, the ground thing? The mole? Animal? Not to be confused with a manimal. Nope. Alright. Head back to town. We have no need for land creatures yet. We have an air creature. Soon he'll become a water creature. Or a plant creature. Or a moon creature. No. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Just so calm and relaxing. Oh, and it just reminds me of plain old MS-DOS games. Jingle jangle. Alright, and then bird. Here you go. I'm a hero. This seems to have made him a bit happier. Oh, you found Chico. Look at them. They are so happy. Now you won't be so grumpy all the time, Feathers. Hello there, little friend. Fun. Croak, croak. Oh, you're so happy. Hey, little friend, did the captain do good? Croak. Oh, yes, he did. Um, do you have some vinegar for sale? Sure, they go for 25 money per bottle. I don't have that much. I'm sorry, but I can't sell you that lots. No, of course. I understand. Is there a way to earn money? Hmm. I guess I can pay you a fair price for a number of items I need. I got nothing. I don't even know the clothes I'm wearing. That is okay. There are things that you can harvest around town. I've been waiting for a chance to pick some sky lips to give to Ingrid. If you can get me a bunch of it, let's say eight flowers, I can pay you 20 money. I could also use about four tree fruits if I am to bake that pie. I can pay you 20 for those as well. 
Anything else? Well, I'm always looking for fresh meat. If you manage to shoot or catch some wildlife, I could probably buy that from you as well. Good to know. Uh-oh. You heard that? I think it's about to rain. The thunder. Oh, there it comes. That's what I thought. Well, um... Still looking for eight flowers, four fruits, some meat, and that's it. Well, I... Oh, right. See you later. I don't... I, I wasn't even looking to what you are saying. Buy these flowers? Oh, yes, beautiful. Thank you. Here's your money. And... Fruit. Yes, of course. It's perfect. Here's your money. Shopkeep. No, don't walk away from me. I need some vinegar. Here you are. And then... Oh, everything is so old-timey. It's like I've been thrown back in time. Oh. Uh, can I have some ammonia? Yes, I have that, but there's a small problem. You see, this is such a nasty substance. I've locked it all in my safe behind the counter. And this is a bit embarrassing, but I have yet again misplaced my key to the safe. Oh yes, feathers. Where is the key, girl? Cage. What are you saying, girl? It's in your cage? Oh, so that's a purpose for getting the bird, because otherwise she wouldn't tell. Marvelous! I got the safe open. So, can I buy some ammonia? Sure, I have it right here in the safe. It'll be 35 million for one jar. I don't have that much. Fine. Can I just get something? Got all the prepared here under the desk. So I need more flowers and fruits. See any more fruits I can pick off the tree? No. Oh boy. Well, I'm working on it. Oh. Everything's puddles and mess. Well, I guess I should get to the house. Hello there. Oh, hi. Back to Samoa. Here are your groceries. Thank you. I was wondering if you'd like to help me repair the well. It'll probably take the rest of the day, though. Uh, not right now. Uh, of course, no problem. We'll be here. I need to double check to see if there's any flowers. No, no flowers, no fruit. Let's fix that well. Uh, yes. in a well in the rain. At least that'll help fill up the well a little bit. Good work, everyone. Time to come inside. Dinner's ready. Oh, last. I'm starving. Hey, sit down. We'll eat. Now, let's say grace. Less is food. Oh, it's the same. There. Let's eat. Same prayers before. How was your second day? Very good, thank you. Still no more who you are? No, pray not. Well, it will come back to you. You must have faith in the Almighty and her plan. You're here. Thank you so much for the food. You really earned your work... Your food... Blah, blah, blah. Earned your food today after all that work you did. Well, I think I will start cleaning things up now. And lots of time for bed. And... She is going to give us, I think, an alarm clock to go to bed, but... So I'm thinking right here, we go upstairs. She gives us an alarm clock. Okay. We set it up, so hopefully we'll wake up at night now. Still need a little bit more money. Yes, we will go to sleep. Captain soon fell asleep, very tired from all the manual labor during the day. Oh, wait. I can see the back garden. Oh.
Oh no! I misset it. We'll keep going for it because we still have more stuff to do and we're going to have to be here for at least one more night anyway. Uh, so thank you all for joining me. I will catch you later in another episode.